Professor Zhuang Rongren teaches Six Harmony Mantis, or Liu He Tanglang, at the Chinese Culture University, which sits atop a mountain just outside of Taipei. Six Harmony Mantis is very different from other styles of mantis, as it branched out much earlier than other styles like Plum Blossom or Seven Star. The style was founded by a man named Wei San in the late Qing Dynasty, who mixed mantis with other styles he had learnt, including Liu He Quan and Tong Bei Quan. While sharing the same core principles as other mantis styles, the forms, power generation, and body mechanics are very different. The style was brought to Taiwan by Jiang Shan San, and Professor Zhuang learnt it from two of his students, Chen Wei Kun and Zhang De Sheng. Shani 可是他摔法的話他會把對方控制住以後再把對方摔倒那他不會直接做你說讓我們做這個來擋這個這個才會才會做摔然後現在就把我摔倒他會把你的手先把手就全部就捆住再去摔那他也是這是主要的甩你能不能看一下摔的話就是剛剛講的這個這個上來的波機這個然後這個就這樣然後就就敲腿然後這個這個上來啊實際上有可以有時候用敲腿我上來又卡住嗯這個地方就不行啊
apartment on the on the fourth floor behind, below us then on the fifth floor and um, you can't build temples on upper floors it has to start from the ground ah. so in the end we didn't and for other familiar reasons we didn't build the temple but it still it still has the the temple parts like the the, the rooftops the ceiling ah so this is the, all like a temple yeah ceiling long, yeah long form ceiling yeah dragon and Whoa. phoenix and then of course the, the shenming zhuo ata mm. and then the shenming which are all linked to our family in some ways uh, Obviously, for the martial arts people, we got Quan Kong here, also called Quan Yu. Um, so you can see him either holding a helmet most of the time in the in the in the Wu Guan, but here he's reading the San Guo Yan Yi, so the Book of the Three Kingdoms. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, because Quan Kong can either be Wen or Wu, he's both martial arts and martial affairs and uh, literacy literature mm. so it can be represented either ways and depending on what your job what's your profession and uh, what your family is it would be you would be choosing him holding a book or a headband uh, and has he got like light cheese on his head on his helmet it looks like light cheese light cheese I'm like the fruit it. legion oh <laughs> yeah, it's uh it's it's uh it's the same it's the same uh, silk balls you'll find of helmets on the Chinese traditional opera. Oh, uh, and okay. The lion heads as well. Oh, okay. That's... Yeah. So most Shenming have Zhongqiu. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is Quan Kong. Uh, there's a story about this Quan Kong, especially because my father-in-law is a Ti Tong. He's a Wang Ye Ti Tong. This is Wang Ye. Hmm. This this Shenming is Wang Ye. And. Uh, uh, we better just explain what a jitong is really quick, because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. a lot of people... Um, so a jitong, in, in English, to me, it translates as a shaman. It could, you could also translate it as a psychic in some ways. Uh, depending on the person being a jitong, uh, it, can, it can either have visions, either of the past or the future. Usually it's the future, people are more interested in the future. It can... He can talk with the deceased. He can, but the most important part of a Titong is he can be inhabited by one or several deities of the Taoism. So, and uh, the guy, some guy, where they where they are Titong, they also hit themselves with uh, Taoist weapons made out either of shark bones or either of metal. Um, just to, I don't know the word in English, to get the, the bad stuff. Oh, like the negative the, energy. Yeah, negative energy, let's say that. Yeah. Uh, my father-in-law in -law is one of them. And so he would get inhabited by Wang Ye, which is a very strong um, god in Chinese Taoism. And especially uh, here in Taiwan and our in our family. It's, even though he's staying at the left of Kuan Yin Pusa, he's the main god of our family altar. Yeah. Together with the San 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 Wang Ye. San San Wang Ye. So they're all Wang Ye, but he would be the main So they're like different sort of incarnations yeah, of him, of I the suppose. Wang Ye, exactly. <clears throat> but we got all of them, all mm. of them. Yeah. So you have to know that in all of these statues, when when a statue maker make a Sun Ming, a god, a deity, we would pierce a hole behind their back and put living creatures. So usually it's either bees. Uh, I think it can be can be cockroaches, anything alive and quite small to fit in. And you seal the back of the deity and you let them die in. And so the deity gets to live with their with the yeah, spirits of the yeah, yeah. insect. I don't know if we can see a hole. Yeah, you can see. One. I didn't know they put. I know they put like a paper with prayers. Yeah. Inside, but I didn't know they put. 
So you see the the Taiji ceiling, right? Ah, so that so the, that would the, be the where the hole. The is. Taiji symbol yeah. is covering it. Okay. Yeah, that would be, and most uh, statues got that. Ah. Yeah. Because I know you have like the Kai Guang thing, right? So when they oh, make yeah, yeah. they make a statue and then they have to like do a prayer and put the prayer inside and then yes. they do something with the eyes, right? Like yeah. dot the eyes. Uh, something? I, I'm not sure with Taiwan. Uh, in Taiwan, I've never seen eye dotting of the Sun Ming, but maybe it exists. But I, but usually they they get when they get into the temple, they get there blindfolded and mm. they do a quite concert reciting poems and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. sutras kind of. Uh, even the sutra is Buddhism, but yeah. And then we would uncover the eyes once once it's done. Mm. And this is Tu Di Gong. Tu Di Gong is uh, you could translate that as the god of earth. And uh, is a very important deity as well in Taiwan. And um, is the protector of the land. So, depending on where you live, you pray to different to Di Gong. Uh, in Malaysia, it, it uh, is equivalent would be Natu Gong, who is a half Malay, half Chinese deity. But uh, to Di Gong is fully Chinese. In the next episode, Jis and I will visit Han Ji Xiang to learn about the traditional long fist of his grandfather, Han Xin Tang.